Hey guys, welcome to the channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use a Splunk add-on for Microsoft Windows and Splunk. So guys, as we know that uh, we often require my, our Windows or we, our machine logs to uh, be monitored by Splunk. In certain cases, it's very necessary to know what's my CPU performance, what's my storage performance, or how the which kind of applications are being uh, used, uh, and etc. etc. So this application make this add-on makes it very easy to fetch all the data from our system into Splunk. It gives all the CIM which are required for uh, enabling us to do it very easily. So we go to Splunk base and search for Splunk add-on for Microsoft Windows. I have put the link in the description so you can check it out and we download it. So guys, uh, after downloading it, we get a TGZ file uh, and we extract it or we uh, install it as per our requirement. So if you guys have any other uh, video requirement of Splunk, you can simply comment in the comment box below and uh, we will try to get some videos for you guys. Okay, without wasting any more time, uh, let's get started uh, with the installation of this app. After we have downloaded the add-on, what we are going to do is to install it in our Splunk instance. So for a single instance system, we can simply go to um, this manage apps through this icon, gear icon, and that, okay. Now I'm going to install it from my file. Let's install app from file. Now we are going to choose file. I have chosen it. It's the TGZ file and now I'm installing it. So this will install the add-on and here's our add-on. This one, oh sorry, uh, this one. And it is saved as Splunk TA Windows. Okay, now we are going to uh, our Splunk uh, folders directory. And uh, over there we are going to ATC apps and the uh, Splunk TA for Windows. And over here what we are going to do is to create an input. And for that I'm going to copy paste this inputs.conf in local. So I have copied this inputs as there is no local folder. I'll create it by myself. So I'll create and copy paste the local, uh, sorry, the inputs in this. So here we paste it, continue. Okay, now what I want from this inputs is just to, cap oh, come on. Just to install, just to get the logs of my applications. So I'll le uh, leave the first stanza as it is, is capturing the application. Rest everything I'm going to delete. Okay, it can stay there. It won't make any trouble, but still I want my things to be tidy. So I'm going to disable zero and then index uh, equal to MAR17. This I have already created, this index of March 17. Uh, you also need to create your own index. Now, render XML0, which will make our data in the form of an XML. We save it. And uh, now we are going to do a Splunk restart. So I'm going to do it through CMD because I find it much better than the Splunk web. So Splunk restart. Of course, it will take a lot of time. So I'm going to cut this video and directly jump to the part where the restart ends. Okay. on okay now the restart has been done so it's been a while since we have done that now what we are going to do is simply okay now it's over sorry okay now what we are going to do is simply log in into Splunk and search for our data so we go to Splunk Enterprise search and reporting apps come on open okay searching and reporting app in Splunk, it's great feature that we get all our data so easily. We don't need to do much of the things. So index MR17, I'm going to set it to 15 minutes because it's not been more than that. So let's search it. Come on, okay. Five events, we have got five events of our Windows uh, application logs in previous 15 minutes and uh, okay 
these are the fields and you can see the data is in XML format. So guys, please subscribe to the channel for more Splunk. Thank you. Bye-bye. Till next time.